Michael, I mean, you were you were open about you know how difficult the, the stretch was. So I mean, now that you kind of got the monkey off your back, you, you, you got this win. How, how's it feeling right now? It feels great. You know what I mean. But at the same time, it's um, it was like I had all the break or all the the bricks on my chest, and getting a win like that just pushed it a little bit off. You know, just a little bit. You know, we're still in this corner, and um, we still gotta follow that win up with an even better performance. You know, so I have to get back to my coaches. I gotta get back training, working on little mistakes that I made in the, this fight, and um, just get better. You know, like I said, um. Iron J put on a great fight. You know, he's a tough competitor, and we um, had a good 15 minutes. You know, I was um, surprised by his length, you know, how far he was able to keep it going. But a little, a little break, and now, now we're back. So I, I got a little relief. Very nice. I wonder, you know, there was a moment where he got to your back, and he's hunting the choke. And I, I don't know, it was interesting because in one way, I, I wondered if you thought, oh, man, here we go again. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then were you also kind of proud of yourself to know, you know, I mean, you, you talked about it, focusing and not ever making, you know, letting go, that, that you were able to battle through it. So did that kind of did you take some pride in that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I, I didn't get in that position on purpose, you know, but I'm glad in a sense I got in that position because it showed um, the work that we've been putting in for the last month months in the gym and that was a weak spot in my game and now he got it on me and we were able to work out of it we stayed calm and composed and um it was tight you know he was putting a lot of pressure on my back and um we just had to play the waiting game not make any mistakes and you know reverse it and I think that's what won me the fight you know getting back up and finishing the second round on top and um you know fighting out of those bad positions keeping my feet moving and, you know he got me to the ground but you know I was able to reverse him and um keep the fight going and standing it was, I mean, it was a tightly contested fight, man. There's no doubt about it. I mean, were you kind of, were you and your team kind of adding up the rounds? What, what did you think, man? It's, no, yeah. man, we don't do that. You know, that's one good thing about me and my team, you know, is we don't add up rounds. You know, my coaches don't come in and tell me, you won that round and this or that. No, you know, my coaches keep it really specific and um, we know exactly what we got to do. You know, regardless if they think I won the round or lost the round, they're never going to tell me. You know, um, I'm a veteran in the game. I've been around for a long time, so I know how the fight goes. My, I'm able to, to judge the fight based off of what I did. So, um, you know, we just stayed it tight. And uh, coming out of the third, I knew I had the win. You know, um, I didn't get hit much in the fight. You know, he only landed the head kicks. And um, he didn't follow up. They didn't do any damage or anything like that. And, um, you know, I landed more. And I think I kept the pressure. And that's what won me the fight. What, what was your emotion going there? Because at the, at the weigh-ins yesterday, you guys, you guys got up in each other's faces. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, was there, like, anger? Was this, like, a grudge match to you? Or, or did you have to put that aside? Um, no, no grudge match you know I put it aside like I said I'm a professional and um, it's all business you know what I mean I got a little uh, raise out of him in the way ends which is what I wanted to do you know I wanted him to come in aggressive but you know he kept his composure he didn't but at the same time um he knew my game plan and he didn't really want to stay in the pocket with me he did a lot of good movements but um we got the win you know and that's that's the big thing about it and last thing for me what do you think should come next? Because it was interesting. You were very respectful, right? You said, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm in no position to be yeah. making any call outs or anything like that. So, but, but what do you think should come next? I mean, yes, you had the losses, but they were to the absolute you know, best in the business. So, yeah. you know, what, what do you think should come next? Um, a top competitor. You know, somebody that's top is going to put me back in the top five. You know, somebody that's going to put me back in title contention. You know, that's what I want. Like I said, um, I'm one of the best guys in the world to step in that cage. You know, Philly put on a great fight, but when it's all said and done, I am one of the best guys to ever step foot in that cage in the featherweight or the lightweight division. And now I'm starting to show that. And now I'm getting back to the vintage Michael Johnson. And um, it's going to be a great, a great turnaround to come back and chase that title. So is 145 where uh, the menace is going to stay now? For now, yeah, yeah. We're definitely going to do another one at 145. You know, I felt really good. Um, the weight cut went very smooth. I put on some extra pounds going in there. And um, the big thing for me is if I could have kept moving and stayed focused and kept my strength through 15 minutes. So I'm glad me and Andre Philly put on a full three-round fight. I know what my body can go through now after cutting that weight. And, um, hey, the rest is history. I'm ready to make my full run again. Did you get a chance to see Gaethje's knockout? No, I was taking pictures, but I heard about it. The crowd went wild, and um, you know I'm happy for him. You know, um, you know, um, we had our little differences, but you know we're, we're still we're we're cool. And um, I told him good luck before he went out there, and um, you know I'm glad to see him going there, going to win. You know, congratulations to him. So if it's up to you, when would you like to get back in the cage? ASAP. Um, you know me. Everybody knows me. I love fighting. Um, there's an Argentina card November 17th. 
I love going out of the country and fighting and seeing places I haven't seen before. So um, if the UFC could put me on that card against anybody, hey, you know, book that flight and let's go. <laughs> awesome.